Here are some of the most interesting animals hidden deep in the sea. Number 9. Lizardfish In the depths of the ocean, where barely 1% of light can be seen, there are a lot of strange creatures that are yet to be discovered. A lot of these animals have quite a look. Really, some of them are worthy of being part of a horror film. And this is the case of the lizardfish. Originally found off the coast of southern Australia, the lizardfish was discovered by scientists from the Australian Marine National Facility during an expedition. As they were dealing with a part of the ocean that was almost impossible to reach, they did a technique called trawling, where they drag a net across the bottom of the sea to see what they can grab. And the lizardfish was in the catch. An efficient predator, the lizardfish is very patient. It waits for its prey to come in close, so then it can do a surprise attack. Its strategy is mainly because of the freezing temperatures of the deepest waters of the ocean. The freezing water and the lack of sunlight means that energy is at a premium. With an intimidating look, it's clear the lizardfish is a predator not to be taken lightly. Its sharp and flexible teeth basically make sure prey don't have a chance once they're caught. Lizardfish can grow up to two feet in length and eat basically anything that moves around them. Here's another fun fact. Lizardfish are hermaphrodites. They can mate with any member of the species whenever they want. Number eight, Atacama snailfish. The bottom of the sea doesn't really seem to be all that fun. Animals that live there have to endure extreme conditions that barely any other species can handle. This is why it surprised scientists when they recently discovered an unknown species of snailfish inhabiting the Atacama Trench off the coast of Chile and Peru. These translucent, scale-free fish were found living their best life at 7,500 meters under the sea level. Just to put it in perspective, the pressure in an area like that would crush any large fish. Researchers believe that Atacama snailfish are an evolutionary example of what some species did to do to survive. They may have adapted to the conditions of the deepest part of the ocean in order to avoid their predators. Atacama snailfish have adapted so well to living in the deep that if they were brought to shallow water, they would essentially melt because of not having enough pressure. These guys need the pressure from the bottom of the sea to maintain their gel-like structure. With a length of anywhere from 7.5 to 10 inches, these snailfish are considered to be one of the most fascinating species found in the deep ocean. Number 7. Megamouth Shark Very few species that belong to the bottom of the ocean are usually seen or found in the outside world. But in this case, it seems like we're talking about probably one of the most popular deep sea shark species to have ever come up to the surface. First sighted in 1976 off the coast of Oahu, the megamouth shark is probably the definition of a deep sea monster. It's a big mouth, underwater animal with features that can scare anyone who happens to see it in low light. Part of the Megachasma genus, Megamouth sharks are known to migrate to the surface of the ocean at night and then go back down deep once daylight comes back. Considering its proportions, it's believed that the Megamouth shark is not the best swimmer since its body is smaller than its head and jaw. It has been found mostly in the depths of the East Asian Pacific side and it's been caught by fishermen on more than one occasion by accident. Not only does this shark have a threatening look, but scientists believe that it possesses bioluminescent lips which attract plankton, its main prey. So if they mainly just love plankton, what are the 50 rows of teeth in their upper jaw and up to 75 rows of teeth in their lower jaw for? Number 6. Ghost Sharks Ghost sharks are a prehistoric combination of sharks and rays. Don't they sound cool already? They're also commonly known as chimaras, and they've been an elusive creature that very few people have ever been able to see in person. Even though ghost sharks have been around long before dinosaurs, we still know very little about them. Geologists from California were on an exploratory mission and sent two remote-operated vehicles off the coast of California and Hawaii. To their surprise, their vehicles kept on running into a ghost shark. They weren't looking for ghost sharks at all, so it was just dumb luck. Mainly spotted in the waters surrounding the coasts of Australia and New Zealand, ghost sharks had never been seen outside this region. This was the first time ever a ghost shark was filmed on video. Ghost sharks tend to be attracted to light, and that most likely explains why this particular ghost shark kept bumping into the lens of the camera. 
One particular interesting trait of ghost sharks that distinguishes them from the rest of the shark family is that they don't have large, jagged teeth. They grind up their prey with mineralized tooth plates. But the most interesting thing is that the male ghost sharks have their retractable, uh, let's call it uh, fun organs, on their foreheads. Number five, fang tooth. Having a reputation to be ugly is crucial for underwater creatures. Let's talk about the fang tooth fish. It's kind of hard to be uglier or nightmare inducing than the fang tooth. Although they look menacing, the fang tooth is actually quite harmless to humans. It's a relatively small fish. The maximum length it reaches is only around six and a half inches. What's really noticeable about its anatomy is the size of its jaw. Its body, although covered with scales, also has an underskin layer of mucus, as if it needed to be more weird. The cherry on top of it all is its abnormally large teeth. In an adult, the largest two fangs in its lower jaw are so long, the fang tooth fish has evolved a pair of opposing sockets to accommodate these fangs when their mouths are closed. The fang tooth actually has the largest teeth of any fish in the ocean proportionate to body size. Their teeth are so large, they can never close their mouths. They're known for their terrible sight, so they have to literally bump and eat whatever they swim into. That explains why they have such big teeth, just in case they run into fish bigger than them so they can just start chomping. Ah, the joys of living in the ocean, where there's just not enough fish to eat. Number four, hatchet fish. This is a case of how looks can make us think terrible things about a very innocent creature. The hatchet fish earn its name because of, well, they look like a hatchet. Hatchet fish are found all over the depths of the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic oceans. There are around 45 individual species of hatchet fish that vary in size anywhere from one to six inches. Hatchet fish have large tubular eyes that point upward, enabling them to search for food falling from above. Because there's very little light in the deep ocean, their eyes have become extremely sensitive to light. They're apparently very good at distinguishing shadows against the extremely faint illumination from above. Although at first glance, it may seem like it's a terrible predator ready to attack, the story is actually quite different. Hatchet fish are just trying to survive one day at a time. This deep sea fish is known for its bioluminescent characteristics, which comes in handy when it's trying to avoid being eaten by the real predators of the ocean. They have special light producing organs known as photophores that run along the length of their body. Since these light organs point downward, it's believed that they're able to hide from predators through the process of counter illumination. This means that they can adjust the intensity of their illumination in order to make them look nearly invisible against the faint light above. Number three, Atlantic wolf fish. Apart from their strange looks, the Atlantic wolf fish is known as one of the most important species in keeping marine ecosystems in check. They're an important factor in controlling green crab and sea urchin populations. They're also an important indicator of the health of other bottom dweller populations such as Atlantic cod. One really cool feature of this fish is that they can actually produce their own natural antifreeze. With this little trick, they're capable of keeping their blood moving continuously, helping them, of course, survive the freezing waters at the bottom of the sea. Atlantic wolffish live in pairs, something that distinguishes them as one of the few fish that spends its life with a partner. This is mainly because of the fact that when the female lays an egg, the male stays at the nest to protect them. Another important feature Atlantic wolffish have is its teeth structure. Basically, they have a lot of teeth. They have a first layer of really strong cylindrical teeth, followed by another three other layers of crushing teeth. They have so many teeth, they even have their teeth in their throat. Number two, giant grenadier. Imagine a fish that resembles a bomb. A stink bomb, that is. What makes them particularly interesting is their stinky smell. However, there's a biological reason for that. They possess a higher than average level of the chemical cremethylamine oxide, or TMAO, which is a chemical that helps all ocean creatures maintain their hydration levels in seawater. TMAO is crucial for their survival, especially in this case. But it's also the reason why fish smell the way they do. The Grenadier's look doesn't really help its reputation. They look like some sort of a demon straight out of a terrible sci-fi movie. With a huge mouth and several rows of tiny teeth, this aggressive looking fish is just plain ugly. And it doesn't help that they have a long pointed tail. 
They're commonly found living just above the bottom of the ocean, lurking around in search of their next prey. Giant Grenadiers are apex predators in the northern Pacific, and their main meal is squid. They're actually one of the most abundant species in the northern part of the Pacific Ocean. So if they're so abundant, why don't we eat it? Well, it's because Grenadiers are much fishier than usual, have an unusually soft texture, and have low protein. Basically, Grenadiers don't look, smell, or taste appetizing. Number one, gulper eel. Gulper eels are quite literally just that. An animal with a mouth so large, it only needs to gulp down its prey. Gulper eels are very different from the rest of the eel community. It lacks pelvic fins, swim bladders, and scales. Its muscle segments have a V shape, while other fish have a W shaped muscle segment. Being one of the many bioluminescent species of the bottom of the sea, the gulper eel has a light producing organ at the tip of its tail. With its tail, it's able to flash a pink reddish light that's extremely useful. It helps the gulper eel lure its prey in so it can catch it with its enormous mouth. Here's what's next. 